welcome to my first get ready get ready with me on YouTube. Um, this is going to be a lot less put together than my other YouTube videos. Um, these videos are kind of going to be similar to the live stream. So I'm trying to get mascara out from under my eyes from earlier. Um, this is basically just a controlled way for me to have get ready's with me. So that's what this is. This is like me having the ability to control the chaos because when I do it on live streams, it's really hard for me to control the chaos. So at least like this is just kind of a way for you guys to still like be able to ask questions about things and kind of see how I get into different characters, but also do it in an environment I'm comfortable in. So yeah, that's why we are doing this. But today we are getting into younger Delphine. You'll probably see me get ready, ready into this character a few times because I have a few series I want to talk about where I get into her. But it's always, I guess I always pick different strands, so that's interesting. But other than that, it's going to be like the same process. But yeah, I just kind of put this silver in my hair. But today we are specifically getting ready for a. Uh, Frank and Alice Longbottom series, which I'm really excited. Uh, I've done this before, and I really liked it. I think it was very heartwarming. It definitely, um, I think, was very painful for some people because there was a lot there. It was definitely like a interesting Neville Alice Frank series, but I'm really excited because this time I have duets, and it's kind of going to be different this time, I guess. Um, it's more she's going to be seeing the memories so it's more of like a pensive series whereas last time was more about her meeting and interacting with the long bottom so i think it's interesting to kind of explore how she would have reacted to seeing what her mom did to the long bottoms and then because i think that gives so much more to her in the last series i did with her in the long bottoms yeah, you can really tell on this camera with the um, silver. But yeah, so that's what this one is. Um, I'm going to give some background kind of on what my thought process behind this concept is. So I definitely think Neville would have had a hard time. Sorry, I have to look into my mirror to see the strands. Would have had a hard time kind of looking Delphine in the eye, which I've explored before, just because he's very traumatized by what happened to his parents, which I think is very evident in the Harry Potter series. I think when we see him really struggle with the Cruciatus curse on the spider by fake Mad-Eye Moody, um, I think that really shows us like how much his parents, and then when we meet his parents and how ashamed he is, I think it really just shows like how much of an effect uh, like the whole torture situation with his parents had on him. So I believe that if Delphine would have gone to Hogwarts and she looks like a mini Bellatrix, it really would have affected him and he would have seen this girl and I think the TikToker, the Bellatrix, I will link her TikTok below said it the best is that it's not anything a lot of people in that video commented that Neville would never treat a child like that because of how poorly he was treated by Snape and I don't think Neville ever would treat a child like that but I definitely think there's a lot of PTSD and he just would have had a hard time you know looking at Delphine but I think eventually they would form a really close bond but that's a whole nother series that I'm going to do with just Neville and so I'm not going to go too in depth on that today but this is more Alice and Frank Longbottom but now that I've kind of given kind of some background is I think Delphine would have wanted to see them to try to and like seeing what her mom did to them because she I think in my alternate universe she really doesn't want to be like her mom like, I think she wants to be different, she wants to be good, and there's something I'm going to end up doing with her that, like, shows that. But, yeah, I think she would have wanted to be good, 
and that she definitely would have not wanted to be anything like her parents in the AU because she would have grown up learning how terrible her parents were because even the Malfoys weren't, I mean, I know Bellatrix was Narcissa's sister, but even by the end, like, Narcissa was really against, like, the Death Eaters and stuff. So, yeah, I think she definitely would have grown up not, you know, being like that. But with that, I want to get into some of the questions you guys have about what's going on because I did ask. I still want to have as much engagement with everyone as possible. I just want it in like a more controlled environment for me. So yeah, I definitely still want to know what your guys' thoughts on series are and kind of what questions you have about my series so I can kind of explain them the best better because I know my Delphine AU series, they make a lot of sense to me, but I've filmed everything and I know everything. And so it's like, this might make a lot of sense to me, but sometimes I feel like it doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys. And since I don't necessarily film it chronologically and I just bounce around on series, um, I think it might be a little confusing for people, but I do have a second YouTube that I'll put in the description that just has my TikToks and I am starting to put them in chronological order order for AU Dolphini and eventually I want to put them in chronological order by series but that's just going to take a while and you know I have a lot on my plate right now with tags, cosplay, work because you know I have to work to be able to afford cosplays and everything so it's just like a lot so it's going to take me a while to do that. It's probably also going to take me a while to can finish rewriting Cursed Child, so just be patient with me everyone, I really appreciate it. With that, I want to get into some of your guys' questions, so you don't have to just sit here and listen to me yap the whole time, but the first one is from my mutuals, MLM's Hobbs, to, no, 0826. She asked, am I going to take care of the long bottoms and give them a happy ending? So, I think I did give them a happy ending last time. I mean, they became, Delphine became friends with them. And, you know, they're still in that state they were in. But, I think there's a question that asks if they're ever going to get their memories back. So, I don't want to fully, like, say anything yet. But, I think, like, even though they are not just a shimmer of who they used to be. I think that Alice and Frank would still love having visitors because they loved having Neville. And I think they would, you know, again, be traumatized seeing her at first, but they would eventually grow to love her in their own way, despite the fact that they're not completely mentally there anymore. So I think I gave them a happy ending last time and we're just sticking with that ending. So, yeah, I think they have a happy, as happy an ending as they can have, but I think I give them a happy ending. Call Me Vane asked, Do Neville and Delphine become sort of friends even though her mom did bad things to his parents? Um, this is more on my Neville series than on this series, but I'm going to say yes. I'm just going to like talk about this now anyways because it was asked. Um, yeah, I think once Neville really, I think Neville eventually figures out that Delphine and him are very similar because they're both expected to be like their parents. I mean, whether it's good or like in Neville's case, he's expected to do great things because of who his parents are and Delphine's expected to do terrible things. And I think Neville will like sees it in her that like she has all this pressure on her and everyone expects her to be a certain way. And so I think Neville like really grows to love Delphine, in my opinion, in my EU. I just think that's who Neville is. Like I think Neville would have a hard time at first because she does look so much like her mom, but I think he'd become, him and Harry would kind of be like a mentor in sorts and like different ways to Delphine. I think Delphine would definitely talk about like her emotional trauma to Neville more than she would to Harry. I think 
Harry would be a mentor to her in like different ways, but I think she would definitely talk to like, I have a series I want to do on that, um, but I definitely think like she would talk to Neville about all her emotional stuff and like all of her problems. So yeah, I think that's like an interesting thing to explore and there's definitely going to be, even if this is the last series with specifically Frank and Alice, there's going to be more with Neville. So yeah. When will my next live be? Okay, so you guys know I'm doing this because, you know, there's just a lot that's asked of me in lives, and like, I love lives, but also they're quite stressful for me. So, yeah, that's why I think this is a good compromise for everyone, is you still get to get do get readies with me and have some interaction, but yeah, I think this, and see my process, but I definitely think that like this was a good compromise for everyone. But my next live, well, I had my last, my most recent live was actually this morning, and that's because I hit 10k. Um, but I've decided the next milestone I will live at is 15k. So if you guys really want a live, um, get me to 15k on TikTok, guys. So, or maybe if I get monetized on here, if I make it to a thousand on here, um, if I make it to a thousand on here, guys, I will live on TikTok also. So, either get me to a thousand subscribers on here, or get me to 15k on, um, TikTok, and I will do another live. But till then, we're just gonna do Get Ready's With Me on here. Sorry, my camera started going all wonky, so I had to restart filming. The next question, which is from Archie and Evie, how did I come up with the long bottom series? I honestly have no idea. It probably just popped into my brain. Oh, it was that song that I had in one of them that was like the Ophelia song that's like, oh, Ophelia. Yeah, that's what it was. I think that's what it was, is I just heard the sound, and for some reason the idea popped in my head, and I just ran with it, and I love it. I love this series so much. I think it's such a redemption arc for her, and I think it kind of gives, like, a happy ending to the long bottoms. So, yeah. At Libby Hawkins 2... I love your cosplays. Oh my goodness, thank you. I love when people comment that. It just makes me feel really good. It makes me want to continue cosplaying. Um, yeah, cosplaying, I know I've talked about this a lot, but cosplaying is like so expensive. Like it is, I just ordered um, three, no, two new wigs today, and then the rest of the outfit for one of my cosplays. And, um, yeah, it was expensive, uh, not gonna lie, and that was like, okay, well, I have no money, and so, yeah, cosplaying is ridiculously expensive, so to get comments that are, like, really nice kind of makes it worth it. Also, if you ever want to support me, I have an Amazon wishlist and a Ko-Fi, both should I'll link both in the description box. There's no pressure, but if you can support my cosplays, it really helps. Um, because, yeah, cosplaying is ridiculously expensive. Even the tube for this, which I probably use about a tube every two weeks doing Delphini with this stuff, it costs me 10 bucks, but like that adds up very quickly like you buy five of them and that's fifty dollars so yeah if you want to like help me continue creating Delphini content or just like content at all if you can support my Ko-Fi and my Amazon wish list I would super appreciate that so yeah thank you for all your kind words guys it really helps like keep me motivated but if you really want to like even go above and beyond, like, I appreciate all of your supportive words, like, I appreciate everything, I appreciate everyone who's subscribed over here, 
like honestly it means the world I never imagined to hit 10k in the fact I hit 10k yesterday and I'm already at 10,300 followers and that absolutely blows my mind that that many people want to see my content but yeah so if you ever feel like you want to do even more to support my channel no pressure but those are in my description box Maddie do 36 asks will Alice and Frank get their memories back um as much as I'm a person who's like screw cursed child and like her shout's not canon, I don't really mess with the rest of canon. So no. They will not. I do not believe they there's anything that can be done about Alice and Frank Longbottom's memories. I think they're just gone personally. So I do not think that they will get their memories back or become restored. Like I'm not gonna that just seems kind of cheesy to do to me. I don't think it's something that's gonna happen. But I think Delphine, like, visiting them, like, helps, and if anything, it m mildly atones, I guess, for what her mother did, and, you know, there's just, like, some happy ending with that, but I think it would be a little cheesy to give them their memories back. I don't think that's gonna happen. And then, my last question is Huna44. Do you think she will try to make things better between the long bottoms? You know what? I think she does. I think she grows to love the long bottoms personally and forms a really like special bond with them. But yeah, I think she does her best. She's not, you know, given the best circumstances coming in, but I think she definitely does her best to make things better between the long bottoms. But it's not like she's given the best circumstances, but I just think loving and, like, supporting them and visiting them, despite the fact that, like, they probably don't really know who she is, and they're, they're not really there anymore, I think it means a lot to the long bottoms. So, yeah, I think she kind of does make up everything with the long bottoms, but that's just my opinion. So, but that's it for kind of the questions everyone asked and the comments I had. I'll come back when this is done because you guys don't need to watch me finish just, you know, putting silver in my hair because this is such a painstaking process if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I will come back when this is done and I will show you the makeup and kind of talk about the makeup I do and then that's it for this series. I'm back y'all, the hair is done, but now I'm just kind of taking a cotton pad across my face because a lot of times I get like the, you know, the coloring on my face and that's not a look, so yeah, I have to do that, but I had a thought while I was away and I was thinking about this. You guys aren't getting the Neville series till, um, till I get a Mandrake. I've decided the Neville series is not happening unless I have a Mandrake. And who knows how long that's going to take, to be honest. Actually, it kind of depends on y'all. If you guys, I found one, it's on Barnes & Nobles. Or there's one on my Amazon wishlist now if anyone wants to get it for me as a 10k present or as a birthday present. I'd love that. But I have to show you guys, it's so cute! Um, I decided I need it for the Neville series, and, sorry about that, I'm gonna have to, I was watching something on TikTok, of course, but, let me try to find it for everyone, nope, mm -hmm. just had it up, oh, it's this thing, look at it, it's a man drink, I really want it. I want it for my Neville series so bad because like Neville's the herbology teacher and just imagine like Delphine carrying a little mandrake into Neville's class. How cute would that be? So um, yeah, you guys aren't getting Neville till I get a mandrake. So and currently most of my paycheck is going to 
this tag I am working on that I can't tell you all about and I have to get outfits for that. Um, the wigs for that are just wigs I have for other characters luckily. But yeah, you guys are not going to be getting the Neville series I think for a bit then because like I will not be able to buy the Mandrake for a bit because after that I have something like special kind of coming for Halloween. Um, October is going to be different. I'm not going to do my normal cosplays for Halloween. Halloween's going to be like all horror cosplays so the month of October, let's be honest, October is Halloween. Like the entire month of October is just Halloween. Um, but you guys will not be getting my normal cosplays for the month of October. You guys are going to be getting horror cosplays so the only one I think I'm including still in there is I might give you regular Cursed Child Delphini and I might give you, um, well, I'm for sure giving you Augury Delphini will be in there and I just used the wrong colors on my blush palette, whatever. Um, y'all are going to get, at the very least, Augury Delphini, but that's probably the only Delphini you're going to get. So unless I have stuff I have to post for tags in that month, you guys really aren't getting too much in the way of like my normal content. But I do have at least three new cosplays for it. And then you're getting a different Renesme version, so I have to save up for that too. So yeah, you guys probably won't get Neville for a while unless someone unless you guys want to help me get the Mandrake. I'll make that my new Ko-Fi goal down below is the Mandrake. But yeah, I have some really fun stuff coming for October. I'm sorry, this makeup's really boring. It's actually almost done because it's so minimal with like young Delphini, so we're almost done. But yeah, you probably won't get Neville for a bit just because I do really want to do that. And yeah, that's kind of what's coming up. There's really, This is like the makeup for young Delphini. It's really not that interesting. I try to keep it really natural since she has to look super young. So I really don't do anything to her. I don't do the eyebrows. I do like pretty much nothing for Young Delphini, unlike all my other cosplays where there's so much makeup. But yeah, this is basically it. This is how I get ready for Young Delphini. And I'm excited for this AU and for you guys to see it. But if you want to support my channel, remember the links are down um, below. Also, please support my mutuals. I love every single one of them. So I'd really appreciate it if you could support all of them. And thank you all for being here and supporting my channel.